and welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the classification on roads. The Ashton Manual classifies roads based on their functional characteristics. Here are the main classifications. Now, the first one is the interstates. Now, we talked about the interstate highways and all that. So what are the interstate highways? These are the highest classification of roads, providing the highest level of mobility and speed over long distances. These connect major cities and regions. Now, the second is what they call the arterials. The arterials, they have one class called the principal arterials. These roads serve major centers of metropolitan areas, providing high capacity urban travel. Then we have the minor arterials. These roads connect with principal arterials and provide service, service for trips of moderate length. The next class of roads are the collectors. So we have the major collectors and these roads gather traffic from local roads and funnel to the arterial network. These provide a balance between mobility and land access. And then from these, you also have the minor collectors. These roads collect traffic from the local roads and connect them to the major collectors or the arterials. And finally, we have the local roads. Now the local roads, you find that these provide direct access to residential, commercial, commercial or other local areas. And these offer the lowest level of mobility by the highest level of access. So now you may be asking yourself, okay, so we've talked about these different road levels. So we've talked about the interstates. Now in your countries, they're not called interstates. What are they called? For example, in Nigeria, they're called a different thing from what they're called in Uganda, from what they're called in India, from what they're called in, in Australia. Now, just for a quick fact, and just to, uh, just to give you a quick idea, you would find that, okay, what do you think in Nigeria, the, the highest level of roads is called? Now, this is very interesting. Nigeria, the highest level road is called the freeways. Now, of course, this would still mean the interstates. And you'd find that below that, they have the arterials, where they have the principal and the minor, and they have the collector roads. And finally, they have the local roads. So again, you find that in Nigeria, it's very, very, very similar to what we have in the States. Uh, but then in Uganda, in Uganda, what we have is, the first one is called the national roads. Now, again, it's almost similar to the interstates, as in they're connecting different states. Uh, in Uganda, they are kind of different districts, so these roads connect different districts because these are called national roads. And these can be trunk roads or primary roads. Then from there, we have district roads. These are roads within a district. Now, these are same as arterials. They, 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 it's the same description, but in different wording. And then after that, we have the urban roads, uh, which is okay now you're, you're coming a level lower we went from now you're looking at the collectors these are like the urban roads because they are collecting people and then uh finally uh we have what you call the community access roads now what do you think about rwanda now rwanda will tell a very funny story rwanda i think they were benchmarking and they came to uganda and we have the same thing as rwanda um but Rwanda, they have something called, they call them community access roads. That's the lowest level, but everything else is national roads, district roads, urban roads. That's what Rwanda has. And what do you think uh, Australia has? Now, Australia, the highest is freeways and motorways. Freeways and motorways is the highest. Um, it's not interstate, but they call it freeways and motorways. And below that, you have the arterials. And after that, you have the collectors, the local roads. And finally, special purpose roads, Australia. They have something special purpose roads. Now these are like industrial roads and all that. And you find that we are all saying the same thing, but when you look at different countries, they say things differently, okay? But you shall find that these four classes of roads are there. So there's that road that goes through different states, different districts, that's normally an interstate, a freeway, uh, a highway, uh, and some places call it something. Then the next is, in, in Uganda, they call them trunk roads and all that. The second is arterial roads. Um, we're calling them district roads for us in Rwanda and Kenya. Uh, Nigeria is calling them materials. Australia is calling them materials. India is also calling them 
India, I think for India, it was something very similar. India, they had national trunk roads and they had country roads, they had special roads and they had different classes for these roads. So you find that you just have to understand the different classifications from the Ashton manual and then you shall find that your manual was kind of fine-tuned to make sure you know the different kind of roads. I know they are serving the same function. One serves interstate, interdistrict, another one only the district, then another one to help you pick someone from the access road, community access roads, uh, onto uh, the arterials. Those are what we are calling right now, in this case, the collector roads. And then you have the local roads. These are the community access roads. Uh, Rather, they are called village, uh, village access roads. And then you have the special roads, like the industrial roads um, that you have seen uh, in the case of Australia. And that's the basic classification of roads. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next lesson.